We are exploring Cape Flattery today, the northwestern point in the contiguous 48 states. So this is actually uh, tribal land. I, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. I believe it's the Maka tribe, Native American uh, Maka wilderness area. And it's also part of the Olympic Coast National Marine Sanctuary, which was established after a huge accident in 1991, where a, a Chinese freighter and a Japanese fishing ship collided, releasing hundreds of thousands of gallons of oil and fuel and devastating wildlife in the area. So then they established this trust to take care of this maritime coastline. So this hike is a quick like three quarter mile hike and overlooks some sea caves and arches, I believe. There may possibly be a way to get down to them, although few people have died trying to explore those sea caves. One, one kid got swept away in 2017 by a rogue wave. And then just recently, somebody was fishing from a kayak or something like that and they got swept away. So not sure we're gonna be getting down there, even though you know I love sea caves. And we're actually staying here on the tribal lands. There's a couple campgrounds. We're staying in one called Hobuck Campground. It's 25 bucks a night for a tent site and it's right on the beach. So um, it's pretty cool. It's like two second walk out onto the sandy beach. And the beach there is in like a, kind of like a cove. So it's not as rough as supposedly Cape Flattery is. It's pretty gnarly. One of the things I love about traveling to new places is learning about new medicinal plants and, and edible plants. We learned a new edible berry up here in Washington. It's called the Salal Berry. So one of the ways that we read that you can tell that it's a Salal Berry is you squeeze it and it makes this little flower looking thing. They kind of slightly resemble blueberries in color and then traditionally they can be used in place of blueberries in any type of blueberry recipe. So what they would do traditionally with the slaw berries is they would mix them into a patty with either deer or elk meat and use that for a, a trail snack. Well, Cape Flattery is absolutely stunning. Ton of sea caves and looks like possibly Washington's best hidden beach right over there. Only problem is how do you get to them? Sheer drops all the way around. You, you could probably rappel down. Kayaking or boating looks like probably the most effective way to get in there, but with the uh, preservation, conservation area here, I'm not exactly sure what the restrictions are on swimming or or boating in this area. I'm not sure if you need a permit or anything like that, but this is what I love. Look at this rocky coastline. Tons of little nooks and crannies to explore. So behind me, you can see the kelp forest here along this coastline. And the kelp forest is what sustains the sea mammals of this area. It's integral to sea life. This whole ecosystem is dependent on this kelp forest. And when you get massive cataclysmic events like the, the two ships that collided in 1991 and spilled all that oil and fuel into the ocean, it really devastates the delicate balance that exists on coastlines like this. As an example of the delicate balance of this particular ecosystem, 
The sea otters of the Pacific Northwest were hunted to near extinction. And what happened was that caused an overgrowth of sea urchins because sea otters feed on sea urchins. The problem with that is sea urchins feed on kelp forests and crowd out the kelp forests. And so that affects the other sea life. And so it's just a, a chain reaction of negative consequences once you start disrupting the delicate balance of nature. And so luckily now this coastline is protected and stuff like that can be minimized, hopefully. One of these days, mark my words, I will be back to get all up in Cape Flattery for sure. I don't want to be on the video. You're going to be on the video. No. And some of you may have seen the Widgeon Lake video from last year when we were in Canada. And as you know, sometimes berries get overindulged on and then you just can't paddle if you eat that many berries. Correct, ma'am? Ma'am? The berry consumption? Yes, the berries help you paddle more. Well, they didn't help you on Widgeon Lake. I paddled so much. You don't even tell the truth. Guys, if you watch the video, you saw me doing most of the paddling on that Widgeon. As I videoed him because he wanted me to. Guy, who are you going to believe here? Me? The, the person you've come to know and love? Or this person who just pops in out of nowhere and suddenly wants to be on the video? She suddenly wants to, the prime time, the spotlight. No. No. Ma'am, are you enjoying your time in the spotlight? I don't want to be in the spotlight. Uh, I love the smell of pit toilets in the morning. Nothing gets my day energized and excited and full of life than a good pit toilet smell. Infamous.